Hi everyone, so with Newcastle News literally very quiet at the moment, we just thought we'd have a little Mickey take and talk about injuries that really bug you. Let us know in the comments if you can think of any extras that we haven't came up with as well. Uh, we've just done our first radio show tonight, fantastic, Rob's done brilliant, we've shifted him out to be present our main channel there as well, we're hoping to get an audio clip and put it on the channel in the next year too as well, we want your calls and your texts for next week as well. So that we went really well down well, let's get on with today's video. Let's kick things off with Fabian Scher, who is the main talking point in this video. Just on Friday alone, on the 24th minute, Fabian Scher was knocked unconscious for over four minutes. There was serious concern about him. However, he got up, recovered, and went on to set up two second half goals in Switzerland's 2-0 win. Scher said afterwards, it looks awful, I can't remember anything when seeing the video footage back. I was out for a few seconds, my skull is still humming, I've got neck ache and a bruise on my forehead but it was worth it but it was worth it an injured player who could have concussion is allowed to go on which is breaking the rules FIFA need a look at this shocking number two in this list is when a player goes down injured and he's been seen to by the medics and the physios however he's helped off the touchline after a couple of minutes and then all of a sudden hey presto he's back up fit as a daisy ready to come running back on what is the point? What is the actual point in this? And please, FIFA are changing this rule because by God, this has to change. Don't you just hate it when the club almost signs a player, but they don't give the reasoning why. Take example, Belgian international, Lazio left back, Jordan Lukaku, who almost became a Newcastle player on loan, but for whatever reason, the club didn't express the real reason behind his failed transfer at Newcastle. What was it down to? Was it his weight problem? Was it an injury problem? Tell us, you're not actually giving the fans any fucking clue what's going on. And the next one on this list is everybody's favorite Newcastle striker, Michael Owen. Michael Owen, known for banging in goals during his England and Liverpool days, but when he came to Newcastle, Michael Owen spent more time on the treatment than he did on the pitch. Owen picked up over £100,000 per week just to sit on the treatment table. However, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, when the club needed him the most, Michael Owen did not want to be picked in fear of getting an injury. Ironically, I fear of getting an injury so he'd get his move away in the summer for free transfer. And he later joined Manchester United. When a player misses a game due to an injury, we all know that's not the real reason. He's got a transfer lined up or he's had a fallen out with a manager. Take Craig Bellamy and Graham Souness situation. Souness dropped Craig Bellamy from the lineup and he was inverted the commas injured. Bellamy to his dismay said and quoted, I couldn't believe it, I was in shock. I just thought not only has he gone behind my back, in front of my face, he is lying. I'd do anything to play for this club, even if it's in goal. Bellamy later went on to play for Celtic. He was shifted out on loan because of the falling out and never played for Newcastle again. Now, to represent your country is the biggest achievement any player can make. And Alex Ferguson was a key master at this, at getting his players to pull out of international games. Ryan Giggs missed several of Wales games because of injury. Yeah, yeah, because he missed it because of injury. Did he really, Sir Alex? Alex Ferguson was a key master at getting players not to go on international duty so they stay with the club and they don't risk any further injuries. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Some would call it stupid, some would call it brave. Take Jamal Asselz for example, who wanted to play on for the championship season despite needing a hernia. Is this bravery? Is this stupidity? Let us know in the comments. And that is it, let us know. Please let us know, is there any extras that you can think of? We've been trying to think, yeah, there is more than just me in this room at the minute. We've been trying to think of just extra little things that really annoy you with injuries. Obviously, touching on a serious note is the Fabian Scher one. He was ruled out today, today's games, which was rightly so for Switzerland. He should have been substituted on the, on the Friday game, was it? when he went up and actually set up two more goals for Switzerland, but if he's down for four minutes, take him off. In a serious note, take him off, because it's health at the end of the day. That comes first before anything. For him to carry on playing is a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. It was the right thing to do for FIFA and Newcastle to pull him out of Monday's night game, tonight's games. And obviously, I know Fabian Shea has come out on Instagram and said, that, look, it wasn't his decision, but that's the right call to do. Despite him not playing next week against Arsenal, that doesn't make a 
doesn't care. He's safety first. Thanks, everyone. ta -da. Bye bye. Vote in the Football Blogging Awards 2019. We'd love to get your vote on three categories. The first one is being the best club content creator. Here at Newcastle Fans TV, we have a video uploaded every day and we're one of the only few channels to beat the majority of away games and every single home game. We also produce some of the best away vlogs out there. Vote for us for the best vlogger and also finally the best social media account. The lads on Facebook and Twitter are inundated with updates from every single day from Newcastle United News. Vote for us, link is in the description, just to be in the same room as the likes of the Red Men, Arsenal Fan TV and Full Time Devils means the world to us. Thank you.